To celebrate the first term of the year, Leo and I decided that we're gonna give away an Abu Garcia Revo SX. Didn't we decide that? Yeah. Yep, so we're gonna do that. Um, all you have to do is just like this video and I will choose, like and comment, excuse me, and I will choose a winner from the comments on the tournament video. So, like and comment on the practice video, winner will be chosen on the tournament video. Let's get to it. Logan Martin Lake, a part of the Coosa River chain, is a 17,000 acre reservoir dammed off in 1965, home to many different species. And over the next few days, I will be fishing my first ever nationwide kayak tournament, stop number three of the Hobie BOS tournament trail. I have four goals. One, learn this body of water. Two, find tournament quality fish. Three, share my experience with you all and encourage you to get out and explore your local fisheries. Hey, even travel a little bit. Four, fish them hard. We got a few days to prepare and all I can expect of myself is to do my best and Fish and <laughs> Larry catches the biggest bass. Good morning, guys. They say when the dogwood trees start to bloom, or I've heard this, when the dogwood trees start to bloom, the bass are starting to spawn. So the dogwood trees are blooming. I think the bass are spawning. I'm pretty sure I saw a bed last week which i didn't i didn't want to believe it but that's the only thing it could have been it was a big yellow spot in the water huge bed um i think we're we're definitely not to the spawn here but i think we definitely probably going to have some shallow water fishing videos here coming up pretty soon so that means we're back baby top water swim jigs big swim baits throwing stuff in three four foot of water just bombing it out and getting eight by five and six and seven pounders here for the next three months that's the gist of what you're probably about to see but that that might not be today because we are doing our first day of tournament practice for the Hobie BOS on Logan Martin. And I am absolutely ecstatic about it. So I live about 45 minutes away from Logan Martin. It, this is my first ever nationwide tournament that I'm doing. I have my kayak on a trailer. Like I'm gonna take it pretty serious. I'm gonna practice Monday through Friday. Water goes off limits, like before the tournament Friday at four have all like the board checks, meetings, stuff like that. So this is my first ever nationwide event. I'm gonna take y'all through it. We have five days of practice. I don't know if I'm gonna go all five days because I don't want to like over practice. What today what I'm gonna do, y'all are gonna see these videos after the tournament has already happened. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my strategy as of right now. So earlier in the spring, I didn't think about this, but I've already posted the video. I shouldn't have posted it. But I caught a 410 out of a creek, my personal best spot. That's a big one, that's a big one, that's a big one. That's a personal best spot. I just broke my PB spot, no doubt about it. Look at that. That's 100% my new personal best. But yeah, look, tail's touching 20. It's a 20 inch fish, look at that dude. That is a huge spot. That's why you don't stop, that's why you don't give up. If you have all day to fish, fish all day. And I had a whole bunch more bites and I had to leave because it got dark on me. So um, I'm gonna go back there. The only thing is that is an official launch for the tournament. So I'm not sure, somebody else is gonna be there. So uh, one one of my strategies is I have light net heads. I ordered some 10 pound braid, eight pound fluoro and just try to go light, you know, ultra finesse uh, because there were fish literally all throughout that creek a month ago. Um, so that strategy number one also there's like two or three more creeks that run into logan martin that i just know of from you know growing up uh down there and like i never really fished them but i know they're there and if i can maybe go to those places and replicate that what i did in the first creek that my first day um i think that'll be pretty good also uh like red fruit sides fishing around boat docks whatnot yeah you can catch them like that i caught three to four fish one day i went out uh doing that whole deal but one thing that I really want to try to do today, or if not today, we're going to have overcast conditions, probably some wind. I'm going to, my thought process is in the creeks, if the fish are going to be big in the creeks, like how they were, like throw what they'll eat. So like Ned rigs, whatnot, fruit sides, whatever they're willing to eat in the creeks, that's what I'm going to throw. If they're not muddied out, because we're supposed to get some rain on and off this week. But the conditions are going to be the same. Overcast, wind, rain, you know, good fishing conditions, but also, good fishing in the right location fishing conditions so what i'm thinking we do today or maybe not today but later on during the week is i ordered a couple of coal sheds and also um 
some Nessies. So I'm gonna go and throw probably Cole Shad's Nessie, Spinner Baits, Slobber Knockers, and just kind of swing for the fences, guys. Like, I don't really feel like there's a need to, I'd rather catch, one, I'd rather catch five, but I'd rather catch five that are, you know, 16 with the big one that's like 20 something inches, throwing big baits than catching, you know, just get by fish, filling a limit fish on like simple stuff, net rigs and frit size, because the bites that I've been getting on frit size before, like when I was just kind of going, just, you know, fishing around, getting the lay of the land, um, they weren't really anything that would help me at all. So I think that's going to be my thought process is I'm going to definitely start off with, um, trying some creeks out today, trying some different stuff, some different colors, different patterns. Hopefully the creeks don't get too muddy to where I can't fish them. And then if that doesn't work, then I'm going cold shads around boat docks and hoping for the best with that. So that's the plan. We're on the way. Luckily we are 45 minutes away from uh, the lake and pretty much any boat ramp that I want to launch at is an hour away. Man, all the dogwood trees are literally blooming everywhere. I'm going to show you all the twin troller, on, or not the twin troller, I'm going to show you all the kayak on the trailer because I'm pretty proud of that. That was my weekend project, kind of altering the trailer. I had to make new bunks for it, uh, had to lower down my little winch I have on it, had to add straps. Also, drilling into a trailer with a Ryobi drill, it can be done, but it is not easy. So, <laughs> that being said, guys, we are on the way to the lake. We'll probably be there here in the next 30 minutes. We got a little bit of a late start this morning. I had to go work out this morning because I felt a little groggy, a little slow. But we're up now. We're rolling. And we got five, really, we got seven full days of fishing ahead of us. Practice, practice, practice. What are you talking about? Practice? I need some practice is what I need. All right, boys, so we got, uh, hopefully this will be the area we can start in. There's one, other, uh, there's one other kayak trailer at the boat launch this morning, so. Maybe they went this way. I'm going that way. And what I'm probably gonna do today is just fish through these creeks. Um, there's another little pocket over here. Since the water's warmed up, the water's 57 degrees a little bit warmer i brought some top water stuff too because i don't want to you know i don't want to eliminate any of my options but i'm probably just going to throw the coal shad and nend rig today try to find some fish and see what we can get into hopefully we can have a good little fishy day i like to i, I have a goal of like maybe 10 fish today i just want to find an area or find an area that they're in or one day this week hopefully before like thursday i have a tip fish day so friday i don't know hopefully i don't even have to you know really fish that hard i can go try to find another another spot because there's 80 something people that are fishing it so or as of right now there's 80 people registered for it so of course some are probably you know somebody might not make it a few more might register late by far biggest tournament i've ever fished though regardless which i have a couple more days like on this lake that i filmed that i'm like eh. I didn't have that good of days, but they were like areas where, you know, I caught like two or three off of one spot and just kind of kept moving. So I was like, eh. So first bite I get over here, I'm probably just gonna leave and go try something else. Um, there's two things that I do wanna do. I wanna try to get, see there's a fish right there, suspended off the bottom. There's a couple things that I do wanna try to do. I wanna try to get um like kind of just a bite in this general area right here in front of the boat ramp and then also i want to try to go down the creek a little bit farther than i've been just to see if there's anything else you know potentially down there just for tournament day i know i can at least say that i tried to go down and you know see how far these fish are but look there's this look like big fish we're not moving fast but there's fish down here there's a whole bunch of them 
actually. This is one of those areas I want to make sure I fish good. Just because there's boat dock trees. There's just a lot of possibility they might have brush dropped off the side of this dock. It's one of those like high probability areas. Ooh, what was that? We already got one bite. Definitely didn't feel like a good fish, but I mean it's a bite. So automatic confidence. Oh, whoa, now. That wasn't good. I'd like to skip under that dock if I could. <laughs> there it is. There's one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, boys. These are the fish. I'm not even gonna fish down here anymore. These are the ones that I'll need right here. That's a good spot. That's a good one. We've been here for 30 minutes. I knew eventually I threw a heavier head just to kind of get it out in the middle and eventually we get bit. I just, I know somebody else is going to come up. That's the, that's the only thing. I just, I'm going to go, I'm going to go way down. I'm not going to fish through any of this because the, the fish are in here and that's not like a crazy big one, but they get, they get bigger for sure. Um, uh, why did I jump like that? Dude, don't be a sissy. That was such a sissy move. I don't know if that legit scared me, that fish jumping like that. Alright. Um, dude, I just, I really pray. I need to block that ramp off is what I need to do. Close enough. Close it. Fifteen and a half. All right. Cool. That tells me everything I need to know. Because I mean, this is literally the exact same thing I was doing a month and a half ago. Same, pretty much spot, location, everything. So I'm I'm good on this area. I don't think I'm gonna come back here for the rest of the week. I'm going to go fish. I'm gonna go way down here, fish. I might fish a little bit on this bank because I don't know if there's anything on this bank or if they're just kind of out of the middle. But on my fish finder, not live scope, just side and down scan. I just see them out cruising. Gosh, that is so, that's so confident. That's so confident boosting for me. Confidence boosting for me. Just being able to do that. And like fish, being able to fish calm and know that like there's gonna be fish here maybe or there still is fish here today that doesn't mean they're gonna be here this weekend but man that is a blessing that is a blessing that is a blessing and there's so many in here and this might just be where i spend my full two days at i'm just gonna see how far i can go down i'm gonna go a good little ways now um go see I kind of want to tie on that red trick side I'm going to do that Let's see see if they'll eat a moving bait I know they'll eat this I've had two or three bites on that I'm not super worried about being like technical and making sure I'm you know hooking into all these fish because somebody else is definitely I know I've said it three times somebody else is definitely going to come through here and practice and probably see this because it's not hidden there's nothing special there's literally 
this is literally 10 feet from the bow rail. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if, I just wanna explore my options. So. Maybe there might be a better lure that I haven't thrown yet or you never know. Um, where are we going to this side? A whole bunch of them. Red, regular fruits out of five. It's like 70 degrees out here today. It's March 4th. If it gets any hotter than what it is now, it's like, hey, there we go. What is that? That's a striped bass, is it not? I promise you that it's not a lot. Yeah, that's not a large mouth. If it's a crappie, he's coming home. Oh, that's a stripe. Huh, I had one of y'all comment when I first came out here that this spot is good for hybrid striped bass and different things that's my first one i don't know if i've ever caught one of these like i've caught them before but i don't know if i've ever caught one on the channel i think that's my first one ever on the channel a lot of fun not gonna help me at all in the tournament but <laughs> oh, i'm gonna send a picture of this to greg Greg's gonna love that well, these things can get big hey striped bass that might be a first ever on the channel hopefully not the last hopefully not the last but the last of maybe not this week i wouldn't mind coming through here and catching all of these but it all striped bass I, and these things get huge i've seen pictures of these um off of the dam up here that are <laughs> huge like big as a kite 13 foot striped bass not really but they get pretty big um yeah that's awesome that's cool new species gotta take a picture of him to all the spots to come hang out. All right, that's two fish. We got a, so far today we got a bluegill, a bass. Right, so far we have a bluegill. I have to be specific when I say bass. We have a bluegill, a spotted bass, and a striped bass today. I should throw the A rig in here. So I should. And this is the most perfect time of year. Now we're kind of late. We're about halfway through the really good fishing. I always say that like, the best fishing really starts in my in my personal opinion it gets good now because you can have some crazy numbers days but it goes size like early january about january 15th all through february until maybe that last week of february and then now until like mid april it gets you know just go fishing every day anytime that you have to go fishing whether it's 30 minutes two hours or the full day go because you just never know and then um you just come into the summer where you can catch them on top water anytime and that's that's good but really like mid january through now is just that time you got to go you got to go you got to go you just got to keep trying keep trying because eventually it's gonna happen for you Not necessarily bluebirds, guys. We got a few clouds. I don't think we have like good, you know, big bait or try it conditions. Today's not the time to test it. It's supposed to be cloudy all week. I'll come back down here and see if maybe I can get bit on something big because that would be fun. But I'm gonna go down all the way down to the end of this. Uh, there's some shoals that said on the map down here. Oh, there's wasps. There's so many wasps down here. I've seen like seven. I have to keep telling myself like fish can be in here fish can be in here because it's just so 
it's so pretty plus the current so strong it's like eh, i don't know if i should be fishing in here but i just had to keep reminding myself like every cast you know that next cast could be the bite but it's weird because like the current's all in the middle it's shallow in the middle but it, i've reached a point in that last pocket i was in it saw i saw like 13 14 foot on the fish finder I could figure out a way to catch five out of here on Saturday. Shoot. <laughs> or five out of here on Sunday. This fish like the main part of it. There's one. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I know there's fish in here. That one's not any bigger though. Hey, but that's promising. See, ate it good. See, I made the switch to the crawl. Got one. Boom, boys. Let's go. Bass number two. Had a couple bites here and there, but good little spotted bass. See how long he is. He's not very long at all. It's fun to catch, um, but the other one was definitely bigger. Uh, 13. So we got a, I don't know if that last one we caught was 14, but we got a 14, or he might've been 15. Was he 14 and a half, maybe 15? So just say a 14 and a 13, that's two for 27 inches. Not the greatest. I need two for like 35 inches. <laughs> but hey, it's our first fish. It's a whole bunch of herring and whatnot in here. That's gonna be the only thing. I'm gonna have to bring two spinning rods the day of the tournament. I have another one in the truck, but I was like, I can only throw one at a time, but tournament day, I'm gonna have to bring two just cause I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of this right here. As long as I get my leader back, I'm happy because that means I tied a good knot. Hmm. Maybe I need to go try this other side over here. There's another one. That's a good long one. Those are the type that you need. I just need them to be like two pounds heavier. But I really think... Oh, shoot. I really think what's, what this is in, gonna end up being is a numbers game. I think I just come back here, catch as many as I can, and just kind of, you know, play the odds of eventually, hopefully hooking into a couple good ones. Oh, this one's been hooked before. After we measure this one, I'm gonna start me a note on my phone. This one is definitely longer than the first one. So we got a 14, a 13, and a fish number three. Fourteen a thirteen. And a fourteen. So two fourteens, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. We got forty-one inches. It's not good. I feel like I'm gonna need high eighties, nineties. I'm gonna keep a running tally of what all I catch. Day one. We got a 13, 14, 14. We got Heron up here hanging out with us. That's always a good when you got Heron hanging out. That's always a good sign. And it's almost like impossible to tell the size of these fish when they eat it because they live in this current. So they're all going to fight hard like that one, you know, felt bigger than what he was. They're all good and healthy and long. It's just, you know, finding those ones that are like really big. And as of right now, I really can't think of anything, you know, to catch bigger ones consistently up here a little bit i just gotta remind myself that i don't need to catch every single one every single last one of these fish but areas like this i could come back here tomorrow and it's a new brand new group of fish every time you come back in here 
that Heron's up there having fun. Oh, yeah. Also, I need to get another prop just to put in the kayak if I'm gonna come over here because that's the accident waiting to happen. I gotta stop at Bass Pro tonight and get another one of those. All right, no fish as of right now. I've been watching my side scan because I've been seeing periodically I'll see like 30 or 40 blobs just kind of grouped up. And I guess that's a group, a big group of uh, striped bass. Sorry, if I start stuttering, I haven't ate anything all day because I've just been so excited. <laughs> There's a direct correlation between me stuttering and lack of food. Good morning. My hope is one day I'll be able to grow up and actually drink black coffee. One day I'll get there. But I just started liking coffee and I'm not there yet. Uh, today is day two of our Hobie BOS practice on Logan Martin. I think we found a good location. I was thinking about this yesterday. I think we found a good location to catch fish. Like I think that is a good limit location, if you will. But um, as far as actually catching fish that will win the tournament, I don't think that's it. Um, I don't think, I think I can catch, I think I can look up on Saturday, in which I don't like to use that word, but I can look up and catch, you know, maybe one or two 20 inches, um, especially down at the waterfall spillway that we fished yesterday. Um, or maybe even, I don't know, I think there might be a couple just kind of mixed in there, you know, casting out in the middle. Um... And then there's only so much water there. It's not like, you know, you really don't. If you're not throwing the right thing, they're not going to eat anything. Because I threw a couple other baits yesterday. Uh, only got bit on the Ned Rig. So I think the Ned, Ned Rig in there is probably going to be the key. Hopefully we don't get rain like I was saying yesterday. But um, hopefully there's, I think there's a couple big ones mixed down in there. I saw a couple big ones on down image and a couple really big dives. Today, I think the goal is, I have two launches that I found. Also, I've been using the Omnia app a little bit. Well, I'll sit down and tell you all about that because... I actually I have to sit and look at it um, and it kind of helps me with where I want to go for the day but I sat and used the Omnia app a little bit also I used um, like for the Hobie tournaments you have a list of like legal launches so launches that everybody's able to use and you have like I don't know maybe like 10 15 of them uh, I found two on like the south west side of the lake and I want to go try those today one has another creek kind of like the one I was in yesterday um, attached to it much smaller but who knows could be something good um, also the other one is just kind of like good flat looking water where I didn't catch anything in that three foot of water but I did have those couple of bikes so if I can find like a good flat pocket somewhere in the lake where you know I can bomb a cold shad or whatever out I won't be mad at that so that's our plan for today we're gonna go get on them hopefully hopefully go find a few more fish um, and I wouldn't mind having like two or three solid options come tournament day. So stay tuned for that. I will see y'all on the water. Also, as you wait for me to get on the water, check this out. I was posted on Abu socials and I didn't, it's cool because this one I didn't make, you know, they'll post like reels and whatnot, which I'm very thankful for. Thank you. Shout out to Abu Garcia. 
<laughs> but they didn't die. Shout out to Abu. But um, they posted this and I didn't make this one. I was like, ooh, that looks good. That looks good. I need that one. I need that. I wish I could hang it up on the wall, like in a video poster and just have it play on repeat. But yeah, I just had to show y'all that. So enjoy this while I'm driving. There it is. Let's go! <laughs> Day two. Ah, oh, jerk bait them on. Day two. So I spent probably about an hour up at the boat where my prop pin has been on my trolling motor. Um, and I was up there trying to fix it, but like it's still working. So I just told myself, instead of driving an hour all the way back home and pretty much wasting the day of practice, I'll just try to fix it tonight. Cause it still works. It's just bad. And luckily I bought a new trolling motor prop last night at Bass Pro. So, I mean, we're still getting the same speed, everything. It's not an issue yet. Eventually it will become an issue. So I don't know if I try to fix it this week. I just don't want to mess it up, you know, for the weekend. But. I'll try to fool with it a little bit tonight, see if I can't get it out. If I can't, then oh well. I think we'll be okay. I just want it to, you know, hopefully fix it. All right, so uh, when I was daydreaming about fishing this lake, this is kind of what I want it to do. I want to throw like this frit side around some of these boat docks. This is a, and I was talking to a guy at the boat rack and he was, I was telling him, I was like, that's the cool thing about being in a kayak is like, I'm kind of forced, you know, I have a limited range of places I can fish every day. So I'm kind of forced to, you know, fish everywhere. Um, but yeah, so initially when I first um, told myself I was going to come out here and fish, I said I was just going to fish the creek that we practiced in yesterday, one, like any type of riprap, rock bank, because it's starting to warm up. It's probably 70 degrees out here. So um and then also boat docks i really wanted to just spend a day throwing coal sheds down the side of the boat docks just to see if i can get you know five like really good bites because we're in that time of year where the bite can be really good depending on where you're at you know you can you can really get into like some really really good fish if you're in the right area so, and you can get away with throwing you can catch them how you want to catch them I mean, you never know when that day is going to be but like we're in that kind of magical time of year where you know, you can have a 50 fish day where you didn't catch a fish under three pounds. After we get done here, I'm gonna throw a slobber knocker and coal shed, probably for the majority of the day. At least right now, that's the plan. It might change. Plans are always subject to change.
All right, there's our first one. Not really any better than what we had at the creek yesterday. I mean, right here in the mouth of this creek. He's 12 and a half. First one. Didn't take us long today. Get the first one. I'm, gonna, I'm seriously just going to throw this pole in. I switched up to the jerk bait because, I mean, open water, I feel like there's probably some fish to be caught on the site right here. Um, but this creek is pretty, this creek is pretty big. So day one, I only caught three, but I'm very confident in that area. Day two, first we need to mark this spot. So we have it. And the first one is 12 and a half, which is an average fish. But if I get somewhere where I'm like consistently catching like 16s and 17s, 16s and 17s put you in like the top half. Like fish like that limits. That's that's what I was having to tell myself last night. I was having a conversation with myself. Like limits are cool in the national tournaments, but I mean these are some of the best fishermen probably in the world. Like if you're traveling around paying to fish, you're not paying to just come out here and you know goof around. So There we go. Not a big one. I don't think. It doesn't feel big. Still haven't seen it yet. Oh, it came off. I saw him. He wasn't big. I'd say another 10 incher, but we can't count him because we didn't have him. A whole bunch of bait over here. That one came up shallow. two off of this side i kind of want to just cut straight across and go fish that pocket over there just because that's where like the wind's pushing everything to over there on that side but we got the wind out so before i'm gonna throw this pole shot a little bit more we got two we got two on two confidence space and i know for a fact there's more in here that'll eat like of the size that we've caught so well we got this wind i want to take advantage of it and see if maybe we can get a couple bigger ones to eat This looks as good as that other side over there. Well, it's not as deep right here. I'm sure it'll be deep enough over here by this floating dock. And we are going to throw a jig in there because last time I threw a jig in a floating dock, I caught a five pound largemouth or a three pound largemouth. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, baby. I know that probably looked good back there. Y'all like that one. Big one, boys. Big one. Oh my god. Big one.
Yeah, man, that'll help a lot. Off the plum dot. I literally just said that I caught a three pounder off of one. I skipped, I went and fished that one and I skipped all the way through this one. And my line was swimming and he absolutely choked that. We're gonna take a picture of this. Talk about confidence boost. I just have to be careful because there's another guy in a kayak up here and I like to lie to him when I see him again. Oh yeah, that'll help. Those are the ones you need. 20 inches. 20 and a quarter. Yes, sir. That's a good one. That's a good three pounder right there off of that dock. Awesome. Okay. Noted. Absolutely noted. Day two. That will help a lot. Hmm. Do we continue to fish? I mean, there's literally two floating dots over here. And float like the last time, like I said, the last time I fished one of those, that same exact thing happened. All right, so I got some thinking to do because I know this launch right here, it's not too big, it's not too crazy. It's kind of on the bottom end of the lake. So I don't think it would be too crazy on Saturday. The only thing is it's good fishing weather right now. You know, people are starting to think about fishing. I know the creek where I was at yesterday in the rapids, that would be, you know, I'm only kayakers can get back there. So like one, somebody had to put in that ramp, two, they would have to roam what I threw, caught the fish that I caught. But the only thing is if there's like big ones over here, would that be worth, you know, coming and doing for the last couple of hours of the day? Like this is where the decision making kind of comes in but also that's one fish and i've already caught that one you know the chances of me coming back and catching that one again on saturday slim to none or catching you know one of that equal size um, here's another little shallow dock i'm gonna try it to... but that was sick i don't know that like that's where i'm conflicted is okay i caught a three pounder and I got two other bites here that's the other thing of those two bites that I got here those two were averaged to be smaller than the ones I caught yesterday but like they weren't you know they're two inches shorter let me get all the way out of here go try some of I almost went home too. that's the crazy thing I was literally 30 seconds away from leaving and going home and something just told me no figure it out like you'll be fine here I'm still my truck's literally right there so the worst were to happen I'm still literally right here. But I mean, guys, I was like 30 seconds away from going home because my prop pin is bent. I was like, I just don't want to, you know, I'd rather go ahead and fix it, but it's not not working. Dude, what in the world, man? Swinging for the fences here. I don't see any bait. It's it is super shallow back here. I just want to see what it physically looked like. All right, so that's it for day two. Um, cutting it a little short today. We in about 30 minutes. The bottom's supposed to fall out. It's supposed to be thunderstorms, lightning. It's supposed to be ugly. So, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Uh, also, I'll be able to post a video tonight, so y'all get to see it upload but uh day two i think my takeaway i said this a little bit on the gopro but i think my takeaway is i found a pattern um that three pounder under the dock i think i could go do that somewhere else on the lake so i think i'm gonna go put in where i put in yesterday i might look at the map see if there's somewhere new just to uh, try somewhere new close to the spot that i started at yesterday 
or like kind of within that same distance so then I can you know travel so I can go from spot to spot hopefully and be able to have if I can have a spot in largemouth combination average 20 inch fish I feel I feel like that'd be pretty solid sorry I'm looking off because I'm thinking that's how I have to think I have to process I'm trying I'm still trying to process because I caught I caught fish today but I didn't really catch anything special except for that one but also too I had multiple bites but I was like in just in bad position when the bites would come and I'd feel them pick it up and drop it so I feel like I can go do that other places um so yeah I think that's where my mind is right now either we put back in at the creek that we were at yesterday and we go the opposite direction we start the opposite direction and we go out towards like more the main lake um just so I think regardless Saturday morning I started the creek regardless and go ahead and catch five or catch enough um so yeah that's just my I want to share I like to share that with you I know it's probably kind of raw this video but I like to share that with you because I know somebody's probably where I was last year I'm like I am not taking my kite to this lake and doing this but it's more it's more than doable it's more than doable and it's 10 times more enjoyable like that three pounder I caught today is 10 times more enjoyable than catching like a three pounder in a pond just because like these fish are like wild like like these aren't like somebody's pet bass these are like these are fish that God put well God put them all here but like God really put these here like the Indians could have been out here catching these Native Americans excuse me but anyway uh yeah that's the end of today hope you enjoyed I will see you tomorrow day three of practice today it's thursday tomorrow's friday last day um we got some black floating docks up here we're gonna skip you know do the same old same old up underneath those i rigged up a couple new rods i have a new pole shad rod or not a new but um this is a 7.4 so i can also use my slobber knocker rod which i had been using for the pole shad rod for slobber knockers. so um also got out on the water this morning and i thought i had my interference problem on my garmin saw but no that couldn't be farther from the truth um garmin sent me a new transducer turned on my fish finder this morning everything worked except for my clear view but luckily um side view still works so i'm not too worried about that i wish these docks were on the other side over there but i see some more so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna fish a few of these see if maybe we can pick up a couple bites um and hopefully we can if we are able to um, we might leave these alone and we're just gonna go all the way down to the bridge we fished through all this before caught a couple on a red fritz side um yeah also boat ramp news i got to the boat ramp this morning there's probably about Shoot, there's probably about 15 20 kayakers that launch from this place so uh, that creek's gonna be pretty like hit or miss that's why i'm trying to find somewhere different so like you know if it is super overrun there's so many fish in there everybody can probably fish in that creek and consistently catch them but also too you know it wouldn't hurt to find a couple more places so i got two days hopefully there's some more water because i'm launching over there for sure i'm pretty dead set on that um yeah Oh, we're shallow right here. Two foot of water. Oh, that's a good first cast of the day. This water's super dirty. 
as long as we don't get any more rain like we've had, we should be good. It might be better whenever there's some heat on them. Like as the day goes on, leaves actually might get a lot better. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. One thing I said I was gonna do in this tournament series is like share how I'm feeling. And right now I'm kind of feeling unsure even though I've you know, had a really good day in that creek. Um, I'm unsure about a few things. One is the amount of people that were there. I know there's enough, there's more than enough fish in that creek for everybody to catch fish, but also it would be nice if it was only like sharing it with two or three people. I know there'll probably be at least, you know, 10, 15 people that go there Saturday, 100%. So how I work around that is I just get there like really early. Like I leave the house at three, get there an hour before it's time to launch and just sit. Um, go ahead and load the truck and just sit. Um, I'm unweary about, or I'm kind of, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how clean the creek is going to be. The area that I went to yesterday, I caught the good one. I had a couple more bites, but I'm still kind of like, eh, it'll be a Saturday. There's going to be a lot more traffic. And I really like the creek because it's kind of out of the way, and especially on up the creek where I was at, the like boats can't get there. So like that would just kind of be like a kayak exclusive area. But also it just depends on how many people show up. Third is if I do fish in the creek and say it does go bad, like worst case scenario, I don't know if this water is clean enough to really like have you know, I don't think this is like where I come and like, you know, get it done. So, uh, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna probably just spend a whole bunch of time going up here, trying to explore a little bit, seeing if I can find some cleaner water. Um, Cause all of this is fairly shallow. I think the fish are moving shallow, but I think you still probably wanna find a little, you wanna find the shallow water close to the deep water, if that makes sense. So like, I think that like probably six, three to six foot range around the boat docks, it's probably in that sweet spot or like eight foot range. Cause that's where I was catching them uh, yesterday i don't know i'm gonna go up here and fish this jerk bait around these rocks so i tied on a blaze color jerk bait there's something that has a little bit more shine to it in the water just a regular stunner 112. Um, the thing is i know the fishing's good somewhere just figuring out where that somewhere is even if i have to take out i might even do that today i might take out look at the list again go put in two or three more places and just see if there's anything close around the boat ramp that i could possibly you know go to It's gonna be hard for me today. I think I just need to go somewhere where I feel like confident. Like in the just general area, like the area that we were in yesterday, as much bait as I was seeing and everything, I was like, I was just confident in that area. Like I don't have to catch fish, you know, initially, but eventually I'll bump into them and this really isn't it. But it's watercolor, it's 60 degrees here um, and super dirty. If I go like to the other side of the lake, will it be you know, better looking. Um, so I have faith in my lures. Like I've caught fish on jerk baits, frit sides, and jigs and Ned rigs the whole time that I've been here. So like for it just not to have happened today, when we've been out here for two hours fishing, um, I just kind of find that a little weird. So I'd say it's a combination of area and water temp because when I came here last time also, I really didn't catch too many fish. Like I caught fish, but like I didn't really catch any that were like, oh yeah, this is, you know, this is a fish. So, um, with that being said, I'm gonna go over here, fish a little bit. That looks like it could be fishy. Try that out. If nothing there, I might explore a little bit more and then just. Not a big one, 
But it is our first fish of the day. There's another one back behind me that just jumped as well. All right, cool. There's a little bit of confidence to start the morning. Finally got some fish. All right, it's fish number one. Hopefully it won't help us tomorrow, but let's see. I doubt this one is 11 inches. <laughs> measure them just for fun now he's 10 that's not gonna help us at all but hey it's the first fish no clear view today i'm not mad at it honestly i'm not mad at it i'm more thankful for it than anything three hours later all right guys i feel like it's my responsibility to share with y'all the good the bad the ugly the good is i fished for six seven hours today the bad is i only caught one fish on the like backside of like this creek. This is pretty much the only thing that I found so far. We do have that three pounder. We had a couple other bites. So, I mean, that's an option too, but I know that's just gonna be very high traffic area. And it seems like this is, so I think the traffic is just something I'm gonna have to get out of my mind as being a problem. Um, honestly, guys, I don't like, I'm, I don't know. I'm weird at like, I know people are like, there's 90 something people registered for this tournament now. So like, there's gonna be people. They, like you can't really I think so much of like my YouTube fishing side of me versus like tournament fishing the YouTube side is like oh if there's people I just want it to myself you know I just want to be able I'm used to being able to go out through the week nobody else goes out through the week you know maybe one or two other people at the boat ramp so I think that kind of got me a little bit this morning uh, it's like oh gosh like I'm gonna have to like compete for my fishing spot and I can like fish along fishing alongside buddies versus fishing alongside like competition two totally different things um, so that's one thing I'm just gonna have to get over man up about um, the other thing that got me was my clear view which I can zoom in my side scan enough and if you zoom in your side scan enough essentially it turns into down imaging so um, I got that figured out and I mean really for what I want to do or like what has worked for me for the past couple of days all I really need is just the map if I'm outside of this creek so uh, with that being said it's gonna get dark about 6 today it's 2 30 we're gonna go get some food and I'm gonna go put in up closer to the dam. Hopefully the water's not too rough. I just wanna see if it's any clear. Um, see if it'll give me a starting point for tomorrow. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm so conflicted because I feel like I fit, like I feel like I wasted a day, but also at the same time, like if I wouldn't have done this today, I would have never known. You know, it's one of those things like it almost had to happen. So I know that I should just put the kayak on the trailer and go somewhere else on the or for this weekend like if i'm not catching fish in the creek but i don't know there's a chance for rain on saturday there's a chance for thunderstorm so i don't know it's kind of it's kind of spooky for me like this is literally the only place that i've caught like consistent fish that i'll catch a limit at and that's my number one goal is just to catch a limit like these are some of the best kayak fishermen in the world like i talked to one dude and he was from australia or i don't know i don't know he had an accent like a funky accent this good old southern boy i don't i don't know i hear accent i'm like oh you must be from alaska <laughs> but anyway guys uh that's where my mind's at honestly always confident because nobody's gonna throw what you're gonna throw how you're gonna throw it so like all i gotta do is be the best at what i'm throwing even if 10 other people are throwing it nobody can i got that from a guy i like to watch nobody can tell the jokes like you do how you do it so like at the end of the day, it really shouldn't matter if there's five people, 10 people, 100,000 people fishing this creek. Nobody's going to do it like me. So with that being said, uh, we're going to go get some food, maybe Subway, and we are going to go to the next spot. So stay tuned. Um, let me know what you're thinking so far. Comment your thoughts. What should I do? Even though you're going to see this way after the tournament's over. But yeah, day three of practice. Going, going. <laughs> It's going good. It's going good. I haven't lost anything. Well, I did lose a pair of scissors, but I didn't lose a finger or anything like that. All right. Launch number two. We don't have long. Huh. On the bright side, my fish finder is working now. My screen's working. I've used all my black and blue chicken crawls. That's the only thing. So I have this orange one as my trailer. 
I have a couple more, but I left them with Greg after that tournament we fished like two weeks ago. I never went and got them. I'll make this one work. I only have one left. I have more at the house, or more with Greg. I just have to go get them. There's one. Only jig under the dock. Hey, that's a spot. Oh. There we go. Ooh, awesome. Let's get a win. Yeah, I think I'm gonna come back over here tomorrow. 14 inches. It's not bad. I'll take it. Awesome. Let's see if we can catch some. All right, I'm riding home with my kayak lights on because I, one, I think it looks cool. And two, I think it looks cool. And that's just how I'm feeling. We caught a fish. We didn't end the day skunked, so that's always a plus. And then also, and then also on top of catching a fish, it wasn't a small one. So that's like an even bigger confidence boost. So uh, we're riding home with the lights on because I feel like we deserved it. We're coming back here to practice for day four. Um, and final day of practice so wish us luck hopefully I, I pray this works out tomorrow there's a lot of good fishable water around here so one of my football coach in high school used to tell us you didn't have to be ready for the game until seven o'clock so like you do all the preparation and everything throughout the week but like mentally you don't have to be ready until seven and i feel like that's kind of what this is shaping up to be like you know the day before the tournament starts i like to kind of have a better grip than what i do now but don't got to be ready until seven o'clock five o'clock Saturday morning, but seven o'clock sounds cooler. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Shut up. It's been a long day. <laughs> 12 hours of fishing today. All right, guys, I don't know what I did and I haven't used my live scope this whole time I've been out here really because I haven't been getting that good of a picture on it. But like now today over here, for some reason, I can actually see on it like, making really good casts. Like it's almost like a miracle. Like I'm not going to use it right now, but I feel like it's and I haven't done anything different. That's the other thing. But like when I turn it on, normally like it looks a little distorted and like it's not angled right. Like my transducer isn't set up right. But, and I just said I wasn't gonna fool with it. I was gonna wait until after the tournament. But today I just turned it on and it's like, like I just casted my jig out probably about 40 feet or so. And I could see it the whole time. And it's never done, like I've, it's always been like, I can see it only at like 30 feet. So, I don't want any I'll bring I'll bring them all to you. <laughs> I don't want to play them. <laughs> yeah, sir. <laughs> Me either. That's the thing. I'll give them to you. <laughs> It's not big at all. That definitely won't help us. I pray that doesn't help us tomorrow. Okay. This is cool though. But hopefully, I, what I'm honestly where I'm at right now is what I'm hoping for is we have a rain delay tomorrow. So what that means for me is that will give me time to go to the first spot, 
see how muddy it is. If it's like way too muddy, I can just come up here. Um, and the rain delay will kind of give me that little bit of time to come up here without having to, you know, wonder. So my thinking behind tying this foot side on is there's probably so much red being thrown, like everybody's throwing like a red one. Oh, dude, I thought that was a fish. So many people are throwing red to the point where it probably makes sense just to throw anything that looks realistic that's not red. So maybe in like a, you know, shad pattern one. But even if that one's small, as long as I have, first I really want to catch a limit tomorrow. So as long as I have five, five fish, um, I don't really think I'm in an area to catch like, if I catch big ones tomorrow, that's just probably gonna be more luck of the draw. I hate saying that, but my personal goal is to catch five and not to have any that are like under 12. Small one on the mid rig. That's not gonna help. There's two small ones, but hey, if it gets bites. That's what I was catching them on in that creek. All right, boys, uh, we just got done off the water. It started to rain. It's gonna get pretty bad here at three. I don't think the creek that we fished uh, Monday and Tuesday, I don't think that's gonna be an option at all for us. So I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna launch here and figure it out. Luckily, I started throwing the Ned rig around this evening and I, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna catch any like great big ones tomorrow on the Ned rig just depending on it's the rain's really the depending factor if we get five six inches of rain tonight the water will be high and like i'll probably be throwing like a chartreuse for its side all day because i was getting bit on the bluegill color i don't know so much is just going to change between today and tomorrow luckily they moved the launch back until six so um get to launch at six in the morning that gives me a decision on i can go drive that gives me time to go drive by uh, the place where we put in Chocolata Creek earlier and then make a decision on do I want to launch there or do I want to launch here. All right. Do you have anything you want to say? Say it now if you have anything you want to say. Say please. Say please? Yeah. Please. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, got my ID for the tournament tomorrow. Yeah, day one, day two. Also, day two doesn't have anything on it. This might just be me being a noob to this, but um, I feel like I'm supposed to have something on it. Maybe I'll fill that in myself. But that's daddy's ID for the tournament he's fishing tomorrow. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have rain all night. I'm gonna just go back where I went tomorrow and just pray for the best. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm kind of content with <laughs> I'm kind of content with whatever happens happens. It's my first national tournament. My number one thing in this one is just go have fun, try my best, fish them hard. I've had enough no. days where, you know, it might not happen yeah. to the very end of the day. It might happen in the first 30 minutes. It might not happen at all. It might happen really good. It might be bad. Who knows? Um, I feel like I had a good practice. Wouldn't change anything. I feel like I fished hard. The only thing that I would change, I was talking to Greg on the way here. Wow. The only thing I would have changed about practice is Monday, I would have spent more time graphing than fishing. Like I would have probably just graphed through the creek uh, and then went and graphed some other areas and probably just killed my batteries for the first two days and then go back and fish uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's kind of one of those things I have to, you know, do to learn. I don't think anybody could have told me that because I would have done it my way because that's just how I am. I'm a hard-headed just like him. Um, but, yeah, so first tournament starts tomorrow. The next video you see, as of right now, I don't know how it's going. I could be a lot of buckety bucks richer or I could be broke. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So stay tuned. He say bye, Leo. Bye. He say peace. Peace. Do you peace fingers? Peace. Peace. Can you do peace? Thumbs up. Good job. Ah. 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 Ah.
Boop. Ah. Gotcha. Boop. Boop. <laughs>